This call is being recorded and is subject to being monitored. If this is an attorney-client conversation, please hang up and call 617-704-6820. Once again, the phone call is being recorded. To accept charges, press 1. To refuse charges, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello? You're late. I'm not late. I, I had to heat up my coffee real quick. I was tired. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's going on? Not much. Another day in paradise, you know? Yeah, living the dream. Living the dream. What's better than just <laughs> wake up and chill, you know what I mean? Well, you know, I'm really not doing anything different. I've just been being lazy all day today. That's good. Enjoy your time. But what's it called? Yeah. Uh, what you got planned for today? Nothing? Actually, my friend from... She lives in California. She's home for Christmas, so I think I'm going to be going out with her later. That'll be good. You going out to yeah. like a, a bar or club or something or just chilling? No, I'll probably just go to dinner or something. Okay. It's Sunday night. I have to work tomorrow, so. Yeah. So probably nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Just another day. Just oh, another day. Just another day. What's it called? Would you, you end up having fun last night? What'd you say? You end up having fun last night? Uh, I was like just so so stoned back to back. I, I could tell too. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't care. I'll be doing the same thing. I know, but I wasn't really that talkative. Yeah. Um, I ended up going to McDonald's when I left <laughs> before I went home, <laughs> and I got uh, um an oh Oreo McFlurry. Oh my god, that's my shit. With extra Oreos. Oh my god. Did you get um any double cheeseburgers? No, no. Oh, that's, that's the best. <laughs> just to make flurry. Oh, that's that, that was like, yeah, that's it. I went there just for that at like midnight. Yeah. <laughs> I almost went to um, borrow a bunch of snacks off someone today because I've been on my diet for like trial because my cheeks are chubby. So, um, no, they're not. No, they are, honestly. It's crazy though because oh. like everything that I eat, it only goes to my cheeks, like nothing else. It's just my <laughs> cheeks. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. Everything well, I- else is- is how I want it. I mean, it's just my cheeks get chubby, but I don't know. It is what it is. I didn't notice. Yeah. Well, you don't want to look skinny in the face, though. You uh, want to look healthy. I like. I block my window, <laughs> not for that reason, but oh, uh, and yeah. then I look in the mirror and like pull on my cheeks. I'm like, what the fuck? No, uh, yeah, fine. Uh, When's your trial, though? Um, January 9th starts jury selection. So January 9th, I'm actually going back to the other jail. And then I just got court every single day. And it's obviously looking, well, uh, you don't know, but it's looking great, like as good as it could be. I mean, my lawyers are confident. I, I feel confident, I mean, so that's good. Yeah. Are you but, going uh, back to Dartmouth? Yeah, I'm going back to Dartmouth on January 9th after jury selection. Um, on January 9th, I go to court, straight from court. I'm going back over there, and then I'll be there for all trial. And then after trial, um, if I win, I come back here to this jail, wait for the next one. But um, everything will be done by in 2015, so it'll be a big wow. year for me. So... What's all that noise? They were watching the Patriots game. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's like a boy. You have you have it good over there, huh? Um, you sound like you're having a good time last night. <laughs> I wasn't really having a good time. I just, <laughs> I mostly stick to myself, I mean, so like, I don't know, there's a few people I talk to, but if they're doing something I'm not interacting with, then I'm, I'm just kind of yeah. like bored, like, I probably got my headphones on. I'm either working out or just um, playing chess. I love chess, I mean. But I, I don't know how to play. I've never played. It's, it's like they say it's a game of life. It's just it's all strategy. You got to think ahead. You mean just like life. You mean, and you just yeah. gotta yeah. It's a good game. I've I mean, played checkers, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much thought process in checkers, but there's yeah. a thought process in checkers too. But yeah, yeah, chess is good though. Well, yeah, you're like, good at it. I am good. There's probably like um three better than me on the unit, but really, yeah. But I'm gonna. I'm good. What about cards? What do you play, poker? Um, that, that people play poker right now, but I don't like, um, I don't know. Sometimes I don't like gambling, I mean, so I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, so what's it like? There's, like, a line of people waiting. Is there only, like, one phone you can use? No, no there's eight phones. Oh, that's good. But so they're there's, all like, around. no one, like, behind you, like, waiting for it? No, nah, but they're all right next to you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, there's, no one's actually using the phone right now, which is actually good. It's first in a while. But mm-hmm. um, sometimes, like, if it's too crowded, I, I don't like going over there because it's just, like, you talk, you hear them right next to you, and then, I don't know, I just hate having people right here. Yeah, no right privacy. To, yeah, and you're really touching them because it, it's a small space. I mean, they're literally, they're a payphone, so they're right next to each other, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. yeah. And you got to stand. And the hate it, the, I mean, the hate is, the thing I hate the most is um you have to stand during these phone calls. 
Oh my god, you're so lazy. <laughs> I know. And, and sometimes you like, can't like bring a chair. No, there's this. Uh, there's a chair right next to us that they use to cut haircuts. But the bitch that works right now, I can't stand her because she's like um, she's on a power trip. So like, she there's some people that just like try to like be disrespectful. Like get the fuck in your cells right now, just to be assholes and follow the rules, thinking like that's gonna earn yeah, respect. Yeah. But it doesn't work. Right. Like in jail, like if people are respectful to us, I'm like all right, guys, it's time to go in. People listen. But people are right. stubborn in jail. So if you're, like, getting your fucking cell, no one's going to move. You know what I mean? Right, so, yeah. So, but that's what I'm saying. Even with this, like, the chair, like, moving the chair over to sit down, like, it's not a big deal. But, like, when she's here, like, she's here right now, and I can't bring the chair over, so I'm pissed. But she, um, she'll be like, oh, you can't sit while using the phone. You know what I mean? But it really, yeah. it makes no difference, like, if you're sitting using the phone or not. But, Is she um, older? Um, no, she's young. But well, that's had, weird. She's calmed down because I um, had a conversation with her one time. Uh, she came to my cell, and, uh, so I asked her to. She actually wrote me up. Um, that, remember that last time I was in my cell? I told you. Oh, did you get my letter? Yeah, I actually was just reading it. Yeah, I was locked in my cell, but what's it called? She's the one that locked me in. But what's it called? Uh, I had a conversation with her. I was just like, if you just cheat us with respect, I mean, we're already in jail. Like, she tried to make everything, like, so much more than it is. I mean, like, she'll be yelling at people if you're standing while eating and it, um, when it's dinner time, like, does that really make a difference if we're standing or sitting? Right. You know what I mean? And it's just yeah. not, I was just like, if you talk to us with respect, people will listen to you. But like everyone, everyone so gives her such a hard time, like screaming. She's a bitch. She's just on a power trip. Yeah, a power trip. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Uh, I think all COs are. No, it's not. Like, there's a lot of like the one that's working with her right now. He's just a every if, if he tells someone to do something, they'll do it because he's just a he, just a nice person. Like, a, generally just a, a great person. You know I mean, if you're a good person, people will listen to you. If you treat us with respect, you know I mean. But if, you, if kids that are in jail, the reason we're in jail is because we're stubborn fucks as it is, and right. we're not gonna listen to you if you're just like go in your cell right now and shut your fucking door. You know I mean, right. calm down. You know I mean, but it is what it is. Yeah. So I got a letter today. This guy is like trying to sue me. For what? Like. Okay. It's it's so stupid, so it's kind of a long story, but this guy, I went to this gym, this new gym that opened, yep. and there was, like, I, ne I didn't meet the trainer. I just went in, like, looked at the gym, and then I was getting all these emails from one of the trainers there, but I hadn't seen him in person or anything. I didn't meet him. Yep. He was just emailing me, trying to get me to sign up with him, just back and forth, back and forth, like, just, like, hounding me, and just something was, like, off about him. Like, he didn't even seem like he knew what he was talking about. He didn't even seem like a real trainer, and a lot of yep. trainers, they really, they really aren't real trainers. Yeah. So whatever. So I was just being nosy. So I tried to find him on Facebook, and he wasn't on there. So then I Googled his name, and all this shit came up that he was, like, he was arrested for, like, sexually molesting little boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just, like, nasty shit, like, that he did to, like, kids. And this gym has, like, a daycare with all little kids there. So I was like, what the fuck? What a creep. Yeah. So... So I just, like, I emailed him back a little bit just to, like, bust his bottles, like, that I knew, like, about his article or whatever. Yeah. So then I end up, like, telling a couple of people that I knew, and they're like, you should tell the owner. Like, the owner, like, he seems cool when I met him, and he brings his son there every day. He has, like, an 8-year-old son. Yeah. So if you read, like, the articles online, like, it's disgusting, which I know, like, half the shit you, believe, like, see online probably isn't true, but the shit that he did to these little kids is just disgusting. Like, he shouldn't be working at a gym with little kids. 100%. So I told the owner, <laughs> and the owner was, like, wicked pissed and was like... Like, at whatever. So the owner ended up acting like he was cool. He's like, thank you so much. And then he went and told the guy, like, gave him my name and everything, told him that I'm the one that told him. So they, like, turned it on me, and he's trying to say that I, like, tried, that I got him fired and defamation of oh, character he got fired? and all that shit. He, I guess, yeah. He was supposed to be registered as a sex offender, and he wasn't. This happened in Florida, and then he moved here. Yeah, and anyways, what's it called? There's nothing wrong with doing that. So even if you did have to go to court for right. that, it's like... It's all public information anyway, okay, so... Yeah. And I was like, I was for the like, children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I said. So I know this lawyer, she's, she's cool. So she, like, she's been writing him back and forth, like, his lawyer. She's, yeah. But it's just bullshit. Like, I don't think it'll really go anywhere, but it's still just annoying. Yeah, he, he should be fired. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, I was just trying to, like, do the right thing. But next time, I'm just going to mind my own business, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, funny. Yeah, sometimes when people <laughs> and, get, get in my business in jail, I'll be like, even though it's dumb, but I'll be like, you know how my grandma lived to be 110 years old? They'll be like, how? Like, mind their own fucking business. <laughs> did she really? Uh, no. Uh, did she really, did no. she really live to be 110? <laughs> no, I never met one of my grandma because she was dead, and the other one, <laughs> and the other oh ones, I think, God. like 80. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my God. What were you about to say? Um, oh, and then another thing that happened to me, so... Remember those pictures I sent you, like, I don't know, a month ago? Like, the recent ones I sent yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I do photography just on the side. Like, I don't make money off of it, but it's just, like, a hobby of mine. Yeah. So, my nephew, like, I take pictures of my nephew a lot. 
so I took a bunch of nice pictures of him, and I was going to give them to my sister for Christmas. Yeah. So I so I ordered them all online, like at, through Walmart, like online. I just ordered yeah. them all, and then I went to go pick them up. I do this all the time. I always pick up pictures. I've never had a problem. Yeah. So I go I go to Walmart, like I don't know, it was like a few weeks ago, and I'm waiting in line. There's like so many people too behind me in line. I get to the counter, and this there was this young bitch working. Yeah. And she says to me, I gave her my name, and she's like, oh, there was an issue with this order. She's like, we can't give you the photos because, like, copyright, uh, like, you need to have um, the photographer, like, sign a release that you can, just some copyright. And I was like, oh, I am the photographer. I took pictures. She really didn't believe me. And I was like, I don't know how to prove it. She's like, oh, we need, like, your, like, your business information, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't have a business. It's just something I do as a hobby. Like, I'm flattered that you think my pictures are that good, but really, they're mine. So she yeah. really wouldn't give me my pictures. Like, she was arguing with me back and forth, and there's people behind me. Then she says, she goes, oh, and there, was eight, there were eight photos that I couldn't give you because they were inappropriate. So I'm like, what? Like, she's calling me out on my pictures. Like, yeah. I'm like, what? They're inappropriate. I'm like, how are they inappropriate? Yeah, some of them were, like, kind of sexy, but, like, yeah. nothing bad at all. Yeah. Like, nothing, nothing nude, nothing. She's like, I've never even so heard she, of that. What? I know. I, I hadn't yeah. either. I was like, but I was so offended because she was, like, this girl my age, like, trying to, like, come at me like that, so I was just yeah. so pissed, especially when there's people behind me, I was so embarrassed, yeah. so I was like, so I was like, what the fuck, like, who are you to judge my pictures, and she's like, well, actually, that's my job, I'm supposed to judge your photos, and if it's not something that I would wear on the street, then I can't give them to you, what? I'm like, so you mean to, I'm like, so you mean to tell me if they were, like, bikini pictures of me on my honeymoon with my husband, like, you couldn't give me those pictures, like, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying, she was just being a bitch, like, trying to give me a hard time, yeah. Yeah, so she really, crazy. so she really wouldn't give me my pictures, yeah, I would have spazzed out probably. What? I would have spazzed out. That's ridiculous. I know. So I asked the manager, and he's like, it was just awkward because then they're all looking at my pictures, and I'm like, having to like explain to them. I'm like, like some of them were just in like, I don't even know. They were like on the beach. Like my friend, she's a photographer, and she took some of them. Yeah. And they weren't. They weren't. They were obviously kind of sexy. Them like modeling yeah. pictures, but they weren't like there wasn't anything crazy. Yeah, but even but if they were just, nude pictures, you still should be able to get them. They're your pictures. Yeah, you can't. I guess some places, I don't know, Walmart fucking gives you a hard time. Yeah, and even the Walmart pictures, they just make you cover up your your nipples and pussy. You mean? Right, that's what I said. I'm like, they're not even naked. Like, I would wear that on the street. Like, I would wear a short jean. They were like jean shorts. Yeah, like my ass was hanging out a little bit, but it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, she's just being a bitch. Yeah. (laughs) Those are people that just overdo their job, like... (laughs) Exactly, and there's, like, a line of people behind me. Like, you couldn't say it more discreetly or, like, just not say anything when there's a line yeah. of people behind me. Everyone's, like, looking at me like I'm some slut. <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but did you end up getting them? So I ended up getting just the Like, they didn't give me the ones of me, but they gave me, like, the ones I took of my nephew and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was it. Okay. Yeah, I actually just um um I ended up they won't send out your uh your card till tomorrow because obviously today's Sunday. But I didn't and you're not supposed to tell me that you got me a card. It's supposed to be a surprise. You're the one that made me answer yesterday. <laughs> well, oh, I was just high and stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But, uh, can so I can send you a card, right? Yeah, but you don't have to send me a card. I know, but I'm saying like, can I send you stuff or they have like strict with certain things? Yeah, you can't send me nothing but a letter. For a card, right? No, you can't send cards. Really? And now you could, but you don't need to send me a card. Oh my god, shut up! I'm, I'm serious. I'm not. I'm not gonna send you one, but if I wanted to, could I? Yeah, if you wanted to, you could. Right. You don't have to. You mean? Because they're probably gonna rip it open anyways. You I mean? Because like, you know how cards people like yeah. hide, hide shit in the middle, so like they kind of rip the cards, like, like separate the cards, kind of ruining the cards. That's what I'm saying. I tell people mostly that you don't need to send cards in there. But, so when you didn't call me for so long. I thought, huh? like, something... No, so I'm, when not, you didn't call- I'm not going to call you because I know you have a life. I mean, you told me the times I, I, I should call. So the times I should I call... I know. It's, it's I know, but then you didn't call, like, those two Tuesdays. You didn't call, so and I didn't no, get a letter. No, I, I didn't call the one Tuesday. And, um, no, both Tuesdays... No, no, the one the Tuesday, Tuesday... No, 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 I was locked in. That's why I wrote in the letter. Right, right, right. But yeah. I, did, I didn't know that at the time until, yeah, like, yeah. I just got the letter. Yeah. But anyway, so when you didn't call, I, I thought it was something, like, on my end, like, with that no, phone no. thing. No. Because some people have told me, like, actually, my dad's the one that said it. He's like, oh, you need to put, like, a minimum of, like, $100 or something. No, I was like, I don't think true. so. No, that's not true. So I called. I called, like, the the customer service number, and this girl was such a bitch to me. She's like, all I said was, I was like, oh, 
I just asked her if they need to be a minimum. She's like, no. And then I said, oh, have any calls, like, tried to come through or anything? And she was all I said. And she's like, no, he hasn't called you. She's like, he didn't call you. And I'm like, how does she even know? It was like a he. Yeah. She's just such a bitch. I was like, all right. I was like, all offended. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was my fault. I, mean, I, I didn't just want to call at any time, I mean, because I know how that goes. No, I know. I mean, but then in I your know, next but... letter, you said call whenever. So I was like, call whenever. Yeah. And then you called me Friday night, and I literally just missed it. My phone was in my purse, and I went to answer it. I heard it ringing, and I missed it. So I was like, yeah. oh, fuck. I and the it. thing is, though, sometimes, like, a lot of people. Like you have one minute left. My mom and brother, they'll, um, there's one minute left. But my mom and brother, though, they'll miss the first one, and I won't call back because I may think they're busy. But really, they just missed it, and they want me to call right back, you know I mean? But I yeah. wasn't going to call you right back because obviously I'm thinking if you don't pick up, then you're busy or you got something going on, you know? So, like, if it hangs up right now, can you call right back? I could call back. All right, well, call, if you want to, call me right back when it hangs up. I got you. I, I could just hang up and call you right back so it doesn't hang up on us. All right, do that then. All right, I'll call right back. All right, bye-bye. The caller has hung up.